Messi have their date, their moment of destiny. The game comparatively one-sided. Austin's fairy tale comes to a conclusion. Very clear about you know the growth that this, this group has made, both on the field and off the field. We're going to need to continue uh, evolving and growing, and there will be adjustments and, and things that are here next year and things that aren't here next year. But you know, take take a moment to appreciate what you what you accomplish. I also had this, hold up. My room's a little messy, but... So, my mom got me an LAFC. She gave me it for good luck, but it's all right. Let's ride. We had a tough game. We, we, what, what pisses me off is that we weren't ourselves that game. I think it was the nerves of making it to our first final, uh, even though we had a lot of experience, but uh, um, I don't know, just the situation. At LAFC, uh, conference final, we knew we beat them twice already, so that kind of gives you like a little uh, pump, but um, they were just more ready than we were. Uh, that's what Josh told us in the locker room afterwards. Um, that it wasn't our best game, that we all knew that, but um, that we made everybody proud, uh, ourselves proud. We set the standard high, and now it's about bouncing back and making it even higher. I think it was amazing. The improvement from first year to second year was just really good, and, and I think everybody's excited to make it even better in our third year. So. Ready to roll. Hard to believe, but Austin FC's 2023 season is less than 50 days away. First official practice on the first day of this week. Good. All right, guys. Um, well, welcome. Obviously, it's good to get everybody in the same space again. Um, you know, get back to work. There's, there's a lot to talk about. We won't spend too long in here, or as, as little time as we need to, but today and, and the rest of the week, um, it's about getting you acclimated back to playing, getting you on the field, getting you physically prepared for a season, um, and obviously introducing some new faces and some new ideas along the way. A little back battle. All right. How do you build on a season? where you reach the Western Conference Final. How do you take that next step? What, is, what are the goals, some of the new goals this season? Last year was last year. There was great success, and, and we were pleased with the progress we made from year one. But year three is going to be much more challenging than year two. We're not sneaking up on anyone. Um, we've obviously had some players leave us. We've had some players come in. So trying to acclimate our players to our ideas, to the city, to um, our standards and norms are, are, are what's now necessary in the coming months. But um, it's the longest season ever in MLS history, starting right now and ending in, in early December, 11 real months of, of a season, which is, which is going to be difficult. But um, we're building depth and, and quality inside our squad. 
Uh, as every season, unless you're a champion, it ends quickly. It's tough to beat an opponent three times uh, in one year. And on the day, we, we weren't our best. That has to do a bit with them, but, but also maybe some of the nerviness and, and the moment being too big. Now you have the responsibility each week to, to be one of these competitive teams. We're gonna be a mark for a lot of teams. It's gonna be harder than last year, I, I can guarantee that. And it's getting these guys physically and mentally prepared for that. It's gonna be a great opportunity, but it's gonna be a challenge and, and we all have to be on board for that, players and staff. I just keep like little small stuff here. So like, I think Josh gave me one of these balls after the Colorado game for like man of the match. And then this one's pretty special. It was like the sound of Q2 when I scored the first goal at the stadium, so. It was such a surreal moment. I mean, I'm just so grateful that I got to like experience this. Like, like just being in the stadium alone, I'm sure w was amazing, but to be the person that scored was just like such a special moment for me in my career. And it felt like I was walking on a cloud when I, when I walked back to the, like our half. As I'm walking back, I'm thinking, uh, I can't believe like I just scored you know, the first MLS goal in Q2. It took like a couple of days to even sink in, but everyone's like, oh, you know, you're gonna be written in history and all this stuff. And um, yeah, it was a pretty special moment. There'd been so many good points and so many positives from the season. And then you have it all build up and, and culminate in this one day. And then to go out in the way we did was just, um, yeah, it's disheartening, it's hard, it's hard to take. You know, we should be celebrating the, the season that we had based on the growth and um, the transformation from year one. Uh, and instead, you know, you're watching these guys lift a, a cup and go on to an MLS, MLS final, and you're thinking that that should be you. So the unique thing now is that we're gonna have a, a target on our back, whereas last year we were the hunter going after all these teams that have beaten us year one and, you know, getting our revenge. Now we come in as the second best team in the West from last year in the standings and expectations are higher. Teams are gonna wanna come in and and put their stamp on, on Q2 and we've got to make sure we don't let them let them do that. Get ready for craziness. Here he comes. <laughs> Can you sit? Can you sit? Good boy. <laughs> Come on. Hey, you wanna go on a walk? Come on, let's go. So anyone that knows me knows that I am very close with my dog. Yeah, he's very attached to us, very attached. But I mean, so are we, you know, he's like our only child right now. So yeah, I have a pretty, pretty boring life outside of, uh, outside of the field, so. team this year with some new bases. We lost some players as well, so we got to focus on what we want to adjust this year, how we want to evolve on the field and continue to evolve off the field. I think it's a big part of why we were successful. We created a real brotherhood and a family inside our group, utilizing the players, the family, the space here at St. David's. You know, I think the, the team has a good competitiveness in it. Now we just got to bring in some new ideas and, and, and be ready to go when the season starts.